Hey, it's Sam and Diana with Toronto Platinum Realty with a really cool video today. You're thinking of selling your home by yourself? Uh, think again. So this video, we're going to talk about um, things to consider if you are going to sell your home by yourself, uh, which is very important, um, but more importantly to think about it more. Yeah. So what are, there are lots of reasons, um, but you know some of the top reasons homeowners decided uh, to for sale by owners that they did not want to pay commission or a fee. Um, Thirty six percent of the bar survey said that they they would uh, you know prefer the reason they're doing it. Most of the buyers said because they're trying to save the commission. And but it was on on other reports it showed that homes that sold with agents actually net six percent more than those that were sold for for sale by owners. Yeah. So basically what that they're saying, and they're comparing this to the average agent, and usually the average agent is uh, lower than what some of the superior agents are getting based on, like the agents yeah. that are more, uh, have superior negotiation or buyers or teams and stuff. Yeah. So, um, you know, and that's the not one of the reasons uh, that's, you know, you should think about that again, because, you know, not everybody's getting higher price. So, and other reasons is you got to negotiate with a lot of people. There's a lot of negotiations that go into this. It's not like you're just dealing with the buyer and seller, especially if you're going through the MLS process where you're listing it on MLS as a for sale by owner, where you're dealing with other real estate brokers and agents. Uh, then now you're dealing with all the forms and stuff. Now you have to deal with the buyers, the buyer's agents the buyer's mortgage company, uh, the appraiser, the inspection company, the lawyers. And so they're all kind of looking for different things. So if right. you if you if you don't do this for a living or you know, you're not used to doing things like this or negotiating these kinds of deals, you could really you could really like kill the deal for yourself. And um and cuz because you may say the wrong thing. Exactly. And a lot of buyers, you're not just dealing with the buyer or the buyer's agent. The buyer has family members. The buyer has, you know, a and whole they're all entourage. Looking out for the, and they're all looking out for the buyer's interest. Like, none of those people are looking out for your Who's interest. Who's looking for, out for your interest, right? And the most important thing, like, how do the buyers actually find the house they buy? Like, where do the buyers come from? So, the actual studies that shows they're actually buying these houses. So 50% of them come from the internet. And digital marketing has become so overly complicated. Um, there's so many different ways you can market anything, any product or a house or whatever online that again, unless this is something that you do for a living um, or you hire some crazy digital marketing company, company to, to do it for you which is going to cost you way more than an agent yeah. um you're really kind of losing out you're not you're, you're not taking advantage of what you what you're able to so you're leaving half of the buyers on the table if you did it by yourself yeah uh, where unless you had really cool digital marketing in place and then the other uh 28 percent of the buyers um based on the National Association of Realtors stated that 28% of the buyers come from real estate agents. So the other 28% you, you would have to put on MLS and they would bring it to you or somehow uh, expose it to more real estate agents. So you're that's almost 30%. Like that, that is, that's a big number right. if you think about it in terms of like if you compare it to the population of uh, the greater Toronto area. So you're really missing on a lot. A lot of real estate agents have... Um, well, the good ones at least have a huge database of buyers. Right. So that's very important. Do you really um, want to miss out on all of that? Yeah. And then seven percent come from yard signs. So even if you do decide to move forward with this, make sure you have proper signage. A lot, you know, seven percent is not the highest number, but it's still a number you don't want to leave on the table. And then one percent come from newspaper. So most of the real estate agent, you know, have comprehensive marketing strategy and some and th the ones the top one percent they have you know uh, octopus style marketing different pillars and and you need to tap into those buyers put their buyers to work for you um, and believe me you'll net more in your pocket at the end so if you were thinking of to sell as a for sale by owner then you need to think again uh, but if you want to take the challenge, you know, we commend you for it. There's a free report. Just ask us for it, and I'll give you more tips on what to do. And we'll help you along the way. Uh, you know, there's, there's no hard feelings. We'll help you whatever you need from us. Just give us a call, and we'll answer any questions you may have to make the process easier for you. So remember, if you like this video, and um, please subscribe. 
uh, turn your notifications on and please, please share it if, if you think somebody else could benefit from this as well. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.